Well, Illinois is one step closer to requiring workers with intellectual and developmental disabilities be paid the full minimum wage. That's right. The state Senate Executive Committee passed the Dignity and Pay Act today with bipartisan support. Illinois Capitol Bureau Chief Max Cotton explains the bill and why some fear it will hurt people with disabilities. Old-fashioned stereotypes about the limit and worth of disabled lives must change. Illinois lawmakers took another step Wednesday towards enacting that change as the Senate Executive Committee passed the Dignity in Pay Act. At its core, the Dignity in Pay Act is a civil rights and economic development measure that will expand employment opportunities for people with disabilities in Illinois. The bill would end Illinois' 14C certificate program, which currently allows some employers to pay people with disabilities less than minimum wage. Though the federal government administers 14C, Illinois lawmakers can outlaw the program from being used in the state. It's a, a form of humanity. People deserve to be paid what they're worth and no regardless of a disability they should be same be paid the same as you or I the programs would be phased out eventually ending at the end of 2029 giving annual progress reports through January 1st 2030 and updates on the employment of people with disabilities through January 1st 2035 the bill also requires at least two current 14c certificate holders sit on the task force despite this the bill's opponents fear it could hurt the very people it's intended to help potentially putting people with disabilities out of work as programs that employ them may not be able to afford full minimum wage and could go out of business. And those adults at home that go to those workshops, those that live in SILAs or other small facilities, they aren't going to have any job or any dignity with their pay. Tracy was one of the three committee members to vote against the bill Wednesday. In Springfield, Max Cotton, WGEM News. Now, Illinois' House of Representatives passed the bill in May with bipartisan support. It now heads to the Senate floor.